Hello all of you awesome people out there and welcome back to another super awesome mega wicked cool video done by myself Disowned Hero and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another mining video. Now in the past I have compared the venture, the mining barges and even done a little bit of a review on the orca. Today though we're going to go one step further, we're going to compare the exhumers. So we just open up the ship tree here, go to the ore pirate kind of faction there and go to the top right, the kind of end of the mining frigate line, we can see the exhumers. They're essentially just the T2 variants of the mining barges. We have the Hulk, the Skiff, and the Mackinaw. Now, the cheapest of all these hulls is actually the Skiff, going for 240 million just for the hull estimated where I am right now. And the most expensive is the Hulk, going for almost 300 million. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd buy each of these, oops, I thought I'd buy each of these, fit them out, go out mining in them for exactly one hour each, and just compare them and see how they show handle, how they stack up against each other. It's a lot more interesting than simply reading through numbers, looking at spreadsheets, or even just going off whatever and what everyone else tells you. you know, it's easy for your corpse to say, oh yeah, just fly this one, that's all you ever need. You know, it's nice to actually have them all out and see how they perform. So here are the ships here. I've named them based on what their roles kind of lean towards. So we have the Hulk here, which is max mining. It is very good at chewing through rocks. Not very good at much else. Has the smallest tank out of all of them. If we look at the fitting here. Uh, now this is roughly how you'd fit a Hulk. And I've fitted a Mackinac roughly how you'd fit a normal Mackinac. And a Skiff as you'd fit a Skiff. I've not maxed them all out for mining. So if you wanted to have them all completely maxed out for mining and see which one could mine the most, not really this video. If you did want to see that though, leave a comment down below. I could always redo the test and refit them all. But yeah, these are fitted as you'd kind of use them in the real world. So yeah, the Hulk fitted out about 13,000 EHP. Has quite a small ore hold of only 8,500 M3. But it can chew through rocks, like I say, like nothing else. Absolutely perfect if you have support, if you've got orcas around you. If you are mining a moon, maybe, and it's two seconds to dock up, drop off, and come back out again. So this thing is an absolute beast. Next, we have the Mackinac. This has, in my opinion, the most staying power out of all of them. You can park this thing in an asteroid belt and stay there for like half an hour, an hour. It has the biggest ore hold out of all of them at 35,000 M3. If we have a quick look at the fit, we can see it's got a tank of about 17, 18,000 DHP. A little bit more than the, um, was it the Hulk. Yeah, a little bit more than the Hulk. Not absolutely super mega tanky, but you know, it's, it's got that bit more survivability about it. A bigger drone bay as well, which is always good. Last but not least, we have the Skiff. Now, this is the tankiest out of all of them. This thing, ideal if you're going to be up against a lot of rats. Maybe you're mining in anomalies and your rats are going to be coming in. Maybe you're out in a fleet or something, or even solo, and you've got other players to worry about who will be like trying to blow you up. Ganks as well. So this thing stacks up pretty well. It has, as you see here, a lot of mids for a nice tank. We've got 50,000 almost EHP on this thing. Or hold. 15,000 M3, so kind of in between the, I've got to go back to this for the names again, in between the Hulk and the Mackinac, I don't know if I went through the Mackinac's or hold, oh I did, it's 35,000, yeah, uh, so yeah, 35,000, 800, 8,500 and 13,000 for the skiff, so yeah, it's in the middle, or hold wise, but yeah, absolute mega tank on this thing, nice drone bay as well, 100 M3 drone bay, so yeah, quite a cool ship. Mining wise, roughly in the middle, so it's not as good as the Hulk, I think it's a little bit better than the Mackinac, so we'll soon find out. So yeah, the actual test itself then, I'm in a 0.6 system, I'm going to be going out into asteroid belts, I'm going to be doing my best to bookmark asteroids, so get my war pins right, I'm going to be using the asteroid scanner module thing, which again off the top of my head I forgot the name for. What's it called? Survey scanner, you know, so I'm not going to be wasting too much time mining asteroids that are empty. So I'm going to be doing my absolute best to get as much M3 as possible. I'm going to mine the same material for all of them. I'm not necessarily going to be going for the most expensive. I'm just going to go for whatever has the most quantity so I won't run out of ore, which I think is a belt spar in the system I'm in. So it doesn't really matter what material it is. I'm not going off how much it's worth. I'm going off how much they can all mine compared to each other. So yeah, Veldspar should be fine. 
Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Drones. I'm going to be using the Augmented Mining Drones and Hobgoblin Ones. Now, Miss Hero, my character, it's worth pointing out, she is not a combat character. She doesn't have any skills at all in combat, and I can prove that by opening the ship tree. Go into any race. She can't use any frigates. She can't use any ships, to be honest, other than freighters, hauling ships, mining ships, and she does PI. That's it. That's all this character does. So when it comes to actually shooting things, she is not too good. Tank, I've got it up to being able to use T2 modules for like uh, shield hardness and stuff, although I've probably nerfed this one a little bit just to make it fit. Jo couldn't fit T2 stuff on this one, but she can Jo have a little bit of a tank on her. She can't use guns, can't use T2 hops, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, skills wise for mining, she is not maxed out by any means, but she's not lacking either. She does do, or she used to do quite a bit of mining. She can fly the Orca. She's a fairly competent miner, uh, let's just put it that way. Uh, I'm going to be sticking with the Strip Miner 1s that year because I don't want to have to worry about crystals. And I've put Strip Miner 1s on all of the ships, so again, nice and even there, same miners. And uh, yeah, they'll all be using the same drones as well. So yeah, let's get into it. We're going to start off in the Hulk. So I'm going to undock here. Let's make sure I've got everything with me. Yeah, well, the ship's completely empty. I'm going to go to an asteroid belt. Let's pick. Um, we'll try and keep it even. We'll try and just use these four asteroid belts here rather than having like this ship mine the closest one. Someone else mine one further away and then one in the middle. So we'll try and go for the middle one. Let's start with this one 6.1. Let's also rearrange these as well. Recently had to reinstall the client, so obviously it's forgot all my drone groups and everything, which is always fun. Uh, but yeah, so we'll try and keep it as even as we can. Like I say, I will be making book marks and stuff as we're going. Try and walk right in on top of the rocks, less time to slow boat around. Try and stay to the same asteroid belts at the same distance. And yeah, I'll be paying 100% attention for the whole hour. None of this like, oh, just walk away and come back and you know, set the miners going again. I'll be watching this screen like Hawk for an hour for each of them. Right, so here we are, first asteroid belt. We're going to go for, I'm going to go for Veldspar because I've been to all the asteroid belts around here. And Veldspar seems to be in good quantity. So we're going to go for Veldspar. Let's go towards this one to start with. Uh, once we're within range... I've got a few things locked up, so I'll set the time running for an hour and uh, we'll just see how we get on. Now hopefully at the end of this we'll be able to see you know, the difference in M3 they can mine. Uh, I'll have a few thoughts and opinions on how fast they warp about, how long they can stay in the, in the asteroid belt for, how they deal against rats. I mean there's not here right now but surely eventually there's going to be in an hour you know, NPCs coming in I can see how they deal with them. And yeah we'll just get a good feel for each ship. And at the end, we'll have a, a, a nice little chat about you know, pros and cons of all of them. And you can make an informed decision about which one's best for you without having to spend 550 mil you know, on each one. So yeah, quick run around this ship then while we're getting there. We've got two st strip miner ones in the highs. We have thermal displacement there. Uh, adaptive invulnerability. Basically some shield modules here for a bit of a tank. We have the survey scanner too. We've got three mining laser twos down here. We've got some nice rigs here as well. So just to help it fit and again a little bit more tank. Not for it in the cargo hull, don't need anything. We have the hobs, augmented mining drones and that's pretty much all this ship needs. If we look at the info, look at the traits, we can see this thing gets nothing but bonuses to its mining. This thing is an absolute mining machine as opposed to the other ones we'll see later on they get bonuses to tank and stuff. This one is surely get as much as you can as quick as possible so I can imagine with this it's going to be a lot of warping backwards and forwards. Alright so we're in range of that one. What's my distance on these again? 19. And it's enough one now. It's perfect. That actually will drop that. Unlock that target. Unlock that target. We'll get a quick. Where's my? There it is. Quick, quick burst of this off, so we know exactly what's in everything. We'll have the mining drones go into the closest one here. We'll have my lasers on ones further away. Obviously, the drones take less time than walking backwards or oh, running backwards and forwards. Drop the water off. See, I've thought of everything. It's going to be a pretty cool test of uh, how these things perform. So I'm going to want felt spot. Perfect. 
Right, so let's get these drones out then. The time... That's the wrong one, I've just spotted. I'll knock that. There we go. The time now is 22.25. They can go on that. Those two can go on that. And yeah, we'll be back in an hour to see exactly how this thing's gone on. Enjoy the little montage I'll put up. Okay, so we've been going for a little over 10 minutes now, come up to about 15 minutes, and I've already had to warp off twice. This thing fills itself up very, very quick. We also did have three, you can just see there, blood small wrecks. Three small blood raider frigates come in, not an issue at all. Didn't even have to turn this thing on, I simply called back two mining drones, sent out two hob ones took care of them no issues at all biggest drawback is just having to dock up all the time i mean it seems to be about every eight minutes this thing's filling itself up it's chewing through the asteroids like no one's business but yeah this docking up is losing time uh good news is it does warp awfully quick it's the wrong way it does seem to warp awfully quick it aligns awfully quick but yeah, as opposed to something that could maybe stay in the asteroid a bit longer, maybe you get another cycle or two off every 10 minutes. So it might add up. I'm guessing we'll soon find out. So I have created a bookmark here. So simply walk back to that. We do have a friend in our little asteroid belt. This system is being mined by orcas and stuff as I'm going. I can see on the scan here there's skiffs, procurer, procurer, orca. So there is things out. I, re I mean I've been around the asteroid belt. I really doubt they're going to mine them out to, before I get all three ships tested. But if they do then uh, I'll simply just have to do one today, one tomorrow, one day after. Hopefully I can just do them all today. So get it nice and even on the same day test. But uh, we'll find out. So yeah, we'll just get back into it now. Just thought I'd give you a quick update of how things are going. It's a uh, very nice ship, to be honest. Warps fast enough. I don't even feel like I'm flying a mining ship, to be honest, how quick it warps and how fast it aligns and stuff. Yeah, so that's the uh, first 15 minute kind of thoughts on this thing. I've lost my felt spot, now there's one there that I'll do. Drones can go on that one. And lasers can go on that one. There we go. Let's get back into it. Ah, oh, and there we go. It's the 22 minute mark. Didn't quite get back out to get another cycle off, but nevertheless, that actually went pretty well. Lost very, very minimal amount of time here and there, just messing around, trying to get nice screen grabs. I think there might have been 20 seconds when I had me lasers off when I was recording an asteroid disappearing, another 10 seconds with me drones, so their asteroid disappeared. And you know, I was just recording the asteroid burning up and uh, yeah, all in all, went rather well. Took on the rats in an 0.6 system, bear in mind, you know, pretty damn easily. Um, not much to say really, a lot of warping backwards and forwards, but it's a very quick ship, gets into warp quickly. Jerry does chew up the asteroids quick, fills itself up quick. I did start putting the ore from the ore hold into the uh, permission requested. into here. Yes, it's only 350 and 3, but it just meant I can get like that extra cycle of you know, drone ore in there or you know, an extra little burst on these for having to dock up. It's a, it's a very nice, very nice little ship. Would really benefit from being boosted. I can imagine if this is getting decent boosts from an orca or something, it would be unstoppable. It would just sit next to the orca, dump everything you mine into it and uh, just be boosted to death. It would be pretty damn cool. But yeah, like that one, like how quick it is. Uh, we're gonna go for the Mackinac next, which is the biggest of them all. I imagine this thing's gonna warp very slow, but it's gonna be able to sit in the asteroid belt for 
hopefully the full hour, you know, I won't have to move. Let's have a quick run around the fit I have on this one then. Uh, in the highs, again, strip minor ones for all of these, just saves me having to find like crystals and worry about taking them with me, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it is even because they're all using exactly the same. Uh, upgraded thermal displacement thing there, adaptive and vulnerability, kinetic, pretty much the same tank the last ship had. Uh, service kind of two as well. We've got three mining laser upgrade twos, a co-processor overclocking unit, and a field defense. In fact, that looks like it's fitted exactly the same. We've got a few extra drones in there. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure why they're in there. I did steal these fits off a few people in Corp. I did not come up with these. I asked some of the more you know, professional miners what they fly, and I picked like the best of the bunch from what they were giving me. So this is the drones they have with them. Not going to bother with them, I'm just going to leave them here. Instead, we're going to go into the Hulk we've just been using. And we're just going to steal them. They did us pretty well, put them in the drone bay. Right, so this can use the full flight of uh, of augmented mana drones as well, which is just pretty cool. At least I think it's using the full flight. Let's have a little spy, shall we? Oh wait, I've got to simulate it first, haven't I? There we go. Yeah, I can get the full five out. And a full five for them as well. So yeah, twenty thousand DHP, and yeah, massive hold. So let's go and see what this thing can do. I feel like I'm forgetting to mention something. Uh, what was the Hulk fit, by the way? Because that does look pretty similar to how the Hulk was fitted. Yeah, near enough identical. I think it's fitted the same as the Hulk, just with the bigger ore hold, and it's going to be a lot slower. So let's get back in the Mackinac. We completely cleared out the asteroid belt of Veldspar, by the way. There was a procurer with us for a while, I'm not sure what he was mining, but he did disappear as well. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of Veldspar chewed up in that one, so we're going to have to go to a different, a different belt. Um, so we want custom again. Uh, so I forget which one we went to, I'm pretty sure it's the 6.1. Let's go to... Let's go to the closest one. In fact, no. Let's go to the furthest away one, because I don't imagine this thing's going to have to walk backwards and forwards. So, we'll just go to this one. Uh, nice to know it's remembered me groups this time. What is the align time of this? I can imagine it's quite a while. 14 seconds. A lot, a lot longer than the, uh, than the, the Hulk we were in. Is it the Hulk? I forget the names. That's why I kind of put next to them what they are. What was it? Yeah, it was the Hulk. Yeah, a lot longer than the Hulk. Let's have a quick... Spy at the info on this one. Uh, so this gets bonuses to its ore hold capacity. A 2% reduction in strip mine of nice harvested duration. 4% to shield resist, that's really going to help us stay on grid against higher rats. And a 2% to strip mine of duration again. Okay, so we've come up against a nice NPC mining jiggy here, but we still have we still have quite a bit of Veldspar spread out though isn't it let's go towards this one we'll get within range again <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there. there we go we'll get within range and we'll start the clock when we actually turn on the uh, strip minus I can imagine sitting here for the next three hours it's really gonna hit my throat <laughs> also in the background see I now have a black screen since the dark ate the green one and it's moving Occasionally, <laughs> the dog keeps trying to eat it, but uh, she's asleep at the moment, so we should be okay. But yeah, so if you see that thing moving behind me, my place isn't haunted. There is no ghosts. It's my dog, which is just outside of it, outside of the shop, chewing away at it. Yeah, very slow moving, 111 meters a second. I'm pretty sure the last one we were in, probably around 300 meters a second. So you do not want to be slow boating around in this one. Very much, it's just delete. Uh, in fact, I've already done it. Deleted my old bookmarks and start a new set. So the range on these ones a lot closer. 15 km's, not 19. Not a huge deal once we get within range, start bookmarking things anyway. The is going to be a pain. Wish someone would come in and just scare them off. Alright, 18 now. We'll just fast forward time until we get there. Alright, so I think this will do us quite nicely here. It's going to stop my ship. Okay, another scan off quickly. Get the mining drones out and ready. 
that one the drones can go on and we'll pick a nice big juicy one that look at that nearly 10,000 m3 in that in fact looking at it 10 20 we should have just enough to fill our or hold ones here so we shouldn't have to warp off until we've destroyed pretty much all of these here so the time is 23 30 pretty much bang on let's get the mining lasers going drones going and then let's just chillax in this one there's not going to be much for me to do but sit here and again try and take some nice cool looking screenshot screen grabs to make a little montage with so yeah we'll be back probably in about 20 minutes to have the first impressions on this and then in the hour when we're done Okay guys, we are a little bit over 20 minutes now, 40 minutes left to go. We are three quarters full, so we might have to dock up and unload twice, I think, if we've got that right. The biggest annoyance I have so far, and it's not even with the ship, it's these flipping NPC miners. As you can see, they have mined the rest of the Veldspar, and that's what I'm after. They've not made the way to my little group of Veldspar yet, I don't think, although that one could be, but it's a little bit too far away. Yeah, but yeah, they're getting closer and closer to my little asteroids I've got here. And uh, when they do, I'm going to have to go find another asteroid belt and slow boats around or book bark. I don't have to decide which way will be quickest at the time. But yeah, this ship, this is how mining, in my opinion, should be. You should be able to just park your ship up, blast your lasers off, to have the game running, so be in front of your computer, because obviously rats and asteroids do deplete over time. But if you wanted to, you make a cup of tea. I could have another account running. I could be watching awesome disowned hero youtube videos definitely do that that's well recommended <laughs> but yeah this is it's a nice easy way of mining this one and i, I have had a few rats to contend with uh and it's took them out no problem to be honest so i just again pulled two drones in blew them up that was it so really easy love this ship this is how mining should be can't stress that enough this is how mining should be uh so yeah we'll be back at the end and uh, we'll see exactly how much this has mined Okay guys, we've got quite a big spawn here actually for the Blood Raiders. I've just had to quickly ask on comms because I'm unsure. I don't run, like, kill rats very often in Hysac. So I was unsure what these things were. But apparently this Machinor should be able to take them. So we're going to take the word of the more avid miners in our group and uh, try and take these things on. I can't imagine it'll be too difficult. I mean, again, we are still in high tech. I mean, I wouldn't really cast that as a hauler either. What is that? That's not a hauler, that's a flipping Corvette. Yeah, they're going down fine. Down you go. Okay, panic averted. I almost warped off then, because I just I just definitely didn't know what it was. I didn't know if this ship would be able to take whatever this was. But, uh, yeah, we got him. It's the most interesting thing that's happened in pretty much the last hour, to be honest. This ship, as I say, very afk -able. I've just been chatting away in our, in our Discord. Right, so we're just going to ignore them for now. I'm actually going to... I don't know why I didn't get the kill for that one. Oh, that wasn't part of it, that's why. Uh, I'm going to mark that wreck to come back. Because, again, the guy said that they can drop some nice loot. So we'll save that one. And once we finish the test, I don't want to waste time now. Once we finish the test, we'll come back and actually see what's inside that. Okay, so that is tired. That is the full hour. Again, pretty good mining. I didn't really have to stop for anything. 
other than those rats coming in and a little bit of slow boating into this belt because obviously when I came to a new belt I was like ah do I warp off and come back or do I just slow boat and I chose to slow boat so a little bit of time wasted nothing major we'll just turn these things off uh I'll just recall them back you come so yeah liking this ship out of all of them this one is my favorite so far they've only done two out of three so might be a little bit early to say that right so we're going to come back for them let's wait for my drones to appear pretty sure this is the station we should be at now i said i, I know i said i wasn't going to go to the close one so it's an unfair advantage but since this thing didn't have to walk backwards and forwards you know it didn't really interfere with anything so uh, we'll just dock ourselves up we'll drop this ore off now we have something to compare it to we can actually look at the ore the first ship got i know i skimmed completely past that i have no idea how i forgot to check and show how much ore it mined since we're doing this to see how much they mine but i did so we'll go back we'll stack this up we'll have a look at what the what the two have got and how they compare before we jump out into the third Okay, and I'm back. Sorry, so that's disappeared for a quick second there. Uh, so I've stacked the ores, and surprisingly, this pile here belongs to the Hulk. And I say surprisingly because I honestly thought the Hulk would mine more. They fitted near enough exactly the same, these two ships, but the Hulk, just with its ship bonuses, to mine a lot faster. And how quickly it was tuned through the asteroids, I honestly thought it would have beaten the Machinol, but obviously it's wasting too much time running backwards and forwards to the stations. So it managed to get 531,000 units of Veldspar, totaling 53.1,000 M3. The Mackinac managed to get 631,000 just over uh, units of Veldspar, totaling 63,000 M3. Again, just a little bit over. So I'm a little bit surprised at that, but it's... Uh, not game changing, I mean that was a full hour in each, the difference estimated is 2 mil. I know we've not gone for the most expensive ore, but you can imagine if it was more expensive, decent ore, then that that would uh, be a bigger difference there, I can imagine. Right, so there's two of the ships done, in fact before we do anything, let's just board our Corvette and let's go see what was inside those Blood Raider, supposedly Blood Raider uh, transport ships, although Pretty sure they look like Corvettes, to be honest. Let's go see what was inside them. That is actually rather cool. One wreck has 25,000 Tritanium in. I mean, estimate it's not much. The other one had 12,000 Tritanium in. Again, estimate it's not much, but if you're mining for materials, then these have just given you, well, lots of materials. So, pretty cool. I'm going to leave that there, I haven't got the space for it, so I'm going to leave that there for whoever's lucky enough to come and find it, but now we know you can take those things out quite easily in a Mac and I'll probably take them out quite easily in all three of the ships to be honest, but yeah you can take them out and there's some, uh, some nice stuff inside alright so let's get docked up, let's get into our third ship, and let's get back out there mining, do the last hour and then compare the three together, oh yeah I've lost standards with Blood Raiders like my standing was good with them to begin with. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, I'll have to test the Ibis one day when I. If you want to see an Ibis maxed out mining, <laughs> let me know. So we can always do a test for an hour with one of them, see what they can get. Right, so ship hangar. We have done the Hulk. We have done the Mackinac. Next is the Skiff. Now this ship is the tankiest out of all of them. If we look at the traits, in theory, it should have. Wait, where's the show info? Oh, there it is at the top. I hovered over it like twice. <laughs> uh, it's got the least amount of bonus to strip miner duration, only 2%. And a exuma bonus, another 2% to strip miner duration. So, not too good. We do get a bonus to drone damage and hit points. So, we have a nice little bit of uh, DPS we can apply. A little bit more than the others. And a 5% bonus to ship shield hit points. And 4% bonus to all shield resistance. So, again, pretty damn cool. If we look at the fitting... We get the 50, almost 50,000 EHP. If my skills are better on the, the tanky side, so that would be a lot higher. And if we get the drones in there, if we steal them out of the Mackinac, put all of them in there. If we simulate this thing, 
we get 88 DPS. Again, I can only use Tech 1s. I would imagine that would probably be about 120, 150 maybe, probably the same as like a, a frigate DPS. So if you actually use the, the Tech 2s. In fact, we are simulating, so I can always just whack them in, couldn't I? Let's have a look. Hulls, uh, hardware, modules, drones, lights. Let's go for Hop 2s. Whack five of them in there. Yeah, 105. Again, that's with zero skills, so that, that would go on. About the same DPS as a, a standard frigate, combat frigate. Okay, so let's exit that. Uh, same again, we're just going to undock. And we're going to find something to shoot at to make sure those drones are with me. Yes, they are. I am empty. Of course, I am. I haven't used it yet. Uh, we'll pick a nice middle asteroid. I think I'm sure we did that one. Let's go for... For the, I don't know, eeny meeny miny bow, catch a tiger bow, toe. I don't know how the song goes. We'll just go for that one. No, I'm pretty sure I did that one. Let's <laughs> watch this one. All right, so here we go, right in the middle of a nice bit of Veldspar. So it's fit then quickly. So it took me a while to find the asteroid belt then, obviously, being to all the ones I checked first. <laughs> uh, so we've got the two strip binder ones in the high, same as everything else. Two adaptive invulnerability shield hardeners. We have the medium shield extender. We have a 1MN monopropulent enduring afterburner. And I know that's the wrong size for this ship. You should have the 10. Yeah, it goes up to 10, so we should have a 10 in there. But I couldn't get it to fit. The fit I got given did have a 10. I just my skills are too low to actually fit it, so I put the one in there. So it's giving us a little slight speed boost. Uh, we've got three mining laser upgrade twos and two medium core defense field extender twos. Same drones as before. Everything exactly the same. Same skills. Obviously, I've stopped training. I don't ever mention it, but I did stop me training, so I'm not going to get halfway and suddenly get an extra five percent to this. But that not making a difference. But you know, everything is exactly the same. All we need to do now. Let's lock up some asteroids. Uh, what range do we have on these? We have 15 km range. So they're all 15 km's except for the skiff. Wait, are we in the skiff? Oh, sorry, yeah, except for the Hulk then. <laughs> Hulk, sorry, it got 19 km range on its lasers. The other two got 15. So, what we need to do is lock up two nice, juicy ones to start with. Let's go for that one, that one. And we'll set the drones onto that one, so we'll actually slow in a little bit closer to that one. Oh, we've got someone else here as well. Oh, there's an orca here. Uh, I don't really want to piss an orca off. Yeah, we won't mind the same as his then. We've got time, we haven't started the clock yet. We'll go for that one instead, that's nice and close. Okay, so we'll actually put the drones. I've confused myself now. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, we'll put the drones onto that one and we'll split the mining lasers between these two. Lovely. Right, so we'll be back then in another hour. Let's get them going. We'll put one on there and we'll put one on there as well. So, yeah, another hour, guys, and then job done. Okay, so we're a little bit over 20 minutes in now, and uh, this ship, not really much to say about it, to be honest. I think I did these ships in the right order. I got the very micromanage one done first, you know, to warp in and out, in and out, locking up asteroids every, like, five seconds. Uh, I then done the sitting around, doing nothing for half an hour while it filled up ship. I'm now on the nice middle ground. It's not taking too long to fill up, it's chewing asteroids at a nice enough rate. And with these two things running, I do get about 70,000 EHP altogether. There it is, which is actually quite handy. I had a Garma walk in about five minutes ago. Um, 
probably completely innocent to be honest. He just he walked in and then he walked off awfully quick. Probably just looking for rats to kill maybe. But uh, yeah, straight away I thought, oh great, please don't tell me this is like a scout for a little gang parts that's maybe following. And uh, Joe has a little bit Joe going through my mind what could happen next to sort of kind of thing. And then I realised when I was sitting in and I thought, ah, I'm not going to be ganked in this. This has the most EHP out of all the exhumers. So whack those two things on, I'm safe. <laughs> so that little like extra bump in tankability does come in handy even in high sec gankers. Not invincible. Obviously, he's not going to say this is never going to get ganked. But as far as like targets for gankers, this is quite a tough thing for them to go for. So fairly safe in that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep chewing away now, and we'll just see what the numbers say at the end. And luckily that is the full hour up by anyway, back to 54 just as triglavians came in now i do not like triglavians out of all the npcs triglavians are my least favorite mainly because they do scram i'm not 100 sure what the characteristics are whether they scram all the time or just a little bit of the time i just know that i have run into many scramming triglavians so you know, not cool all right so that is it that is the the hour up unfortunately i didn't really get much on that last trip, I was hoping to get maybe a full cycle off, but nah, not to be. So let's dock ourselves up and see how we got on. Now this ship, I'm not actually as as happy with this ship as I was the other two. The other two, I was like really satisfied of how quick I was going through the rocks, or I was quite nice to sit around and kind of just watch things happen, watch things mine away, do without having to do much. This one, it's a bit of an odd one. So you, you are having to pay attention, you're having to do stuff, just not that much, if that makes sense. It's kind of an inconvenience, so I can't do anything else whilst I'm in this ship. And, uh, just put that in there. I can't really do anything else while I'm in this ship, because you do need to pay that little bit of attention to it, so I can't exactly just be like, oh, I'll have a second account up, or I'll have YouTube up, because you, you, you'll be for every few minutes, you know, looking over doing something. Um... And it didn't quite stay as long as the Mackinac. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. I mean, the tank was nice. Don't get me wrong. Really enjoyed having that extra bit of tank, that little bit of security. It's just a bit of a bit of an odd ship. But let's put all the numbers together now and see how we got on. So all this stuff, there we go, was from the, uh, the skiff. So we've got skiff, we've got Hulk, and then we have the... Uh, Mackinac there. So as we can see, Skiff managed to get 591,000 units of Altspar, totaling 59, yeah, 59,000 M3. The, uh, the Hulk managed to get 531,000, that's 53,000 M3. But the winner is the Mackinac at 63,000 M3, 631 thousand veld spars that that's so that is surprising i actually thought the mackinaw would be the the worst of the bunch with its like lowest bonus really to mining but i suppose that the warping backwards and forwards really saved the mackinaw that extra few cycles uh if not more on the, the the strip miners compared to the other two obviously do add up over time um yeah going from like personal point of view i mean I, i'm not an avid miner anymore i used to do a lot more mining going back like six months a year ago but i would say hulk most satisfying definitely the most satisfying if you want to watch like asteroid belts disappear get a hulk every few few minutes do you know asteroid disappears you're gonna almost count them down the Mackinac, if you want to be a little bit afk just have it run on a second account or in the background Mackinac is the one to go for and the skiff is well it's tanky i'll give it that it does definitely have its its role to play in the mining if, you, if you're going somewhere dangerous if you're probably not being ganked or if you've got a habit of being ganked um this ship would be the one for you but 
Personally, I just didn't enjoy flying it. I think that's about it. It's a bit slow to align. It's not the fastest at warping. It's not that quick. I mean, I don't have a prop mod on, but it's not that quick, like, slow boating around. It's just a bit of an odd fit. It is definitely in the middle of the two, and I think for that, it just wasn't anything special. And I like to fly special things. Uh, yeah, so that's it. We managed to get a little bit of ore, prepare a few ships, and I hope it's just been a little bit more enjoyable then just going through numbers and statistics so you got to see a cool few screenshots that have been flicking the camera around and you got a real life test of kind of how these ships uh how these ships behave and like their pros and cons i mean for the cost of them i mean that's 525 million is that's a lot of money just if you didn't really know what you're doing maybe you've just finished in the mining barges and you want an exam and you're looking at which one that's a lot of money just to to pay to try them out i mean i'm an idiot i, I spend money on all sorts of junk i shouldn't do <laughs> so i don't really mind wasting money these ships will just sit here until another year's time when i decide to maybe do mine and i'll move them where i need them but so if you're if you're a little bit down on your on your ask and you need the mining to make your money because you, you don't have that much maybe you've been doing a lot of pvp and so your, your wallet's looking empty so it's a lot of money to waste isn't it if it turns out not to be the ship for you so yeah like i say hopefully this video's helped some of you guys out there if you do want to check out the other mining videos i've done then i'll have them in the description down below you've probably had a few comment cards pop up on that side as well um yeah other than that thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you missed that bit out please subscribe because it's uh, it'll be nice to see the people that watch the video kind of match the number of subscribers at the moment it's like 10 percent of people who watch subscribe and it'd be nice if you kind of leveled out just a little bit <laughs> uh but yeah if you did enjoy this video then uh, i've done that bit i'm a bit rusty i haven't done the video for a while <laughs> other than that guys i'll see you right here very soon in another video bye bye Oh, I very nearly almost forgot. I haven't actually fact-checked it yet. But what I did figure out was you can kind of tell how good a ship's bonus to mining by how many of these cores it has in the middle. So this is obviously the tanky one. Let's get the names back up because I always forget what they're called. Uh, this is the skiff. It's the tankier one. If we look in the info, we can see it only gets 2% bonus there and a 2% bonus there. It only has one core. If we go to the Mackinac, which is like the middle of the bunch, you can see it's got two cores. And if we look in the uh, info again, it's got the 2% bonus there, 2% bonus there. So that's actually pretty much the same, but it also gets the 5% bonus to ship or hold capacity as well. So it's like, it's a little bit better, so it's got a slightly bit more bonus, so two cores. And then last but not least, if we go to the Hulk, that's got the three cores, and if we show the info, it gets a 2% bonus, 3% bonus, 25% bonus, and 5% bonus. So that gets the three cores, and I'm pretty sure that's the same with the, the mining barge as well. So the, the more bonus the ship is to its actual mining potential, I mean, forget tank, forget speed, forget hold and all that kind of stuff. Well, hold but bonus does count but so if you forget all the other stuff like like the, the slot layout and all that the actual mining bonus you know goes off these things so let's just get the um the t1s up so there is the procurer procurer has come on one core in the middle and he gets a two percent bonus next we have the coveter it actually has three it gets a 2%, 5%, 25%. So that's actually really high, isn't it, for like mine? This one only gets a 2% and a 5% bonus to the hold. So it's more than just the 2% the other one got, because it does got a 5% bonus to hold, which, yeah, doesn't actually increase the yield, but jump is a, is a bonus to mining. And that's got two. There you go. It's a little bit of knowledge for you. Something I figured out how true it is or how it's. Joe, maybe it's just by accident. But yeah, the more bonus the ship is to mine, and the more cores it has. I thought it was quite cool. And you figured that out while I was spinning my ship around, Joe. Trying to get cool footage for you guys. But there you go, there's my little tip for the day. And if you've stayed till the end, thank you very much. There's your little tip. So the more cores it has, the better at mining it actually is. Alright, guys, so this time I will see you soon. Bye bye. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well to get some more game guides, how to's, let's plays and live streams from myself. I also think you should check out this video just up here, but if that one doesn't interest you, then try this one. Other than that guys, take it easy and I'll see you soon.